Hello and thanks for watching this Acumatica video by Cloud9 ERP Solutions. In today's video we're going to talk about creating kits and the different types of kits we have. So in Acumatica the first thing to discuss is the difference between a stock and non-stock kit. The reason I'm highlighting these two items is because that's where we create our kits. So a non-stock kit allows you to essentially sell this item when you go to pick it it will add all of the kit items along with it on the pick ticket so on the fly one item is basically selling a bunch of items on your sales quote and order you only have one line item but again when you pick it shows all of those items a stock item carries an inventory level which means it requires a assembly process to get those items up to stock. So let's start with a non-stock kit first and then we'll move over to a stock kit. So we'll create a brand new one and we'll call this a drill set. We'll give it an item class. and we'll tell it it's a kit item. So now we'll save this. And then in order to define this item, we'll go back to inventory and we'll go into kit specifications. So we'll open that up and we'll type in the drill set. We'll give it a revision. Acumatica supports revisions because you may change this. And we'll add all of the items, all of the stock items that are part of this kit. So this is a drill set, so we need one screw gun. Then we'll add a drill bit set, so we need one of those. And then lastly, we'll add maybe a carrying case. So maybe the customer is looking for the entire drill set, which gives you all of these. So we'll save it. Now if we go in and create a new sales order, pick our customer, we'll add our item, and this is the drill set. And maybe the customer bought two of these, okay? And we didn't give it a price, but we'll give it a price just for the purposes of making it look nice. So now if we go into actions and create our shipment, we have a shipment here with the drill set, quantity two. If we take a look at our pick list, you can see all of the items that the picker needs to pick, quantity two of all of these. So the screw gun, the drill bit set, and the carrying case. And that essentially is what a non-stock kit is. You don't need to prep in advance to sell these items. The pick ticket will take care of everything, making sure that the picker includes everything in the box that you promised from that kit. So now the other option is we go back and we go in and create a stock kit. Create a new one. We'll call this a drill set two in this case. Give it an item class. And we'll mark it as a kit. We'll save it. Now under kit specifications, we'll open up drill set two. We'll add the stock items. Again, this is the same item, but we're just gonna show how it's different. Quantity one, and we'll save it. Now additionally, over here on this non-stock components, you can add services, maybe labor, for example, that's required to make this happen. And in Acumatica, non-stock components can actually accrue labor so you could then later write it off against your payroll. 
But in this case, again, we're going to have just these three stock items. Now, once again, you have different revisions that we support. You can mark this active. You can allow component additions if you turn this on. And if we move over to the right here, Acumatica allows you to vary the quantities in this assembly process. So minimum component, maximum component. If we decide to kit assembly reverse this, there could be a disassembly co coefficient. We're starting to get a little bit into manufacturing, but Acumatica does allow you to have a disassembly waste. And lastly, do I allow component substitution during my kit assembly process? And again, these are just simple features. There's not a lot of depth to them, but for simple things that you might be doing, this may be perfect. Now, if we go into a sales order and we create a sales order for this and we sell our drill set two, and again, maybe there's two on the order, you'll notice at the bottom of the screen, Acumatica shows the stock status. In this case, there's none on hand. So we can't create a shipment for this. But if we go back to our inventory and we go to kit assembly, this is how we produce these quantities of the drill set two. So you can see this is the list of kit assemblies in my demo company. There's production type and disassembly. Talked about that earlier. But if we click plus here, we will create a production order. We'll pick an item. We could select the revision if there's a different revision. We could select the warehouse and location we want to create it to and the quantity that we're looking to create. So we'll say quantity three here. These are all the components that we need for this kit. And again, if we had the rights, we could do component changes and substitutions and stuff. And we can take it off hold and release it. Now, a couple of things here. If we were creating an item that is serialized, then this will allow us to generate that serial number. And we could see all the quantities here. They'll show up here. In this case, this item's not serialized. So we'll take it off hold and we'll release it. Now, if we go back to our sales order, and at the bottom of the screen, if we just refresh, you can see we have quantity three available. If we go to ship this, essentially we're shipping this one item and its stock level will go down by the quantity two. See the warning level here because I don't have a price on it. But now if we print this pick list, the picker will only pick this particular item because we assembled it in advance. So that's the difference between stock and non-stock kits in Acumatica. If you need something more, if you need something more advanced, then I invite you to check out our manufacturing demonstration on the YouTube channel or to call us for a, an additional demonstration to find out what's right for you. Is it non-stock kits? Is it stock kits? Or is it our manufacturing edition? Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.